gave the rest of that last bale of hay to the goats and the cow this morning. We're getting more hay and that'll should feed them for two days out there. I'm trying to fix my fences. The goats have escaped the last couple days. I'm just trying to figure out what could, why is my fence voltage not very high? It's been at about 2,500 volts. And I'm wondering if I messed up by putting this little section of PVC in here as an insulator. This is my feed wire for my fence and it runs through this PVC. I was trying to keep it away from this metal screen to keep from grounding the fence out, but I'm just wondering if there's like water or ice or moisture in there that's grounding the fence out with that PVC. I actually don't know how conductive PVC is. Yeah, found a toilet show. You found what did you find? A toilet show, look and inside of it. You found a turtle shell. Yeah. And a toilet and a heel. There's no turtle in there? Yeah. yeah. No turtle? Yeah. Yeah, I was stuck on the ground from ice and I pulled it out, it was really hard. Oh, cool. Pull that wire right out of there, all the way out. We're gonna run it to this insulator here instead of through that pipe. We're gonna run it to this insulator here instead of through the pipe. Let's see if that'll be enough. We've got that tied back in, now we're just gonna walk along the fence and try to find anything else that might be grounding it out. I'm just checking to make sure it's not touching the barn anywhere here. And it looks like it's good to here. Here's a spot where the fence has come out of the insulator and it's touching that metal post. That'll ground it out like nothing. You can, I can see, I don't know if you can, there's actually burn marks on there from sparks. We'll fix that. We're done with our fence check for now. This is kind of funny. I put that bale of hay right here this morning and they've rolled it to right here. That is something that I'll need to watch, make sure that doesn't get rolled into the fence. Let's turn it this way so it's harder to roll. There's Bonnie. I put Bonnie in the fence last night and she's out already first thing this morning. How did she do it with clipped wings? I don't know. Here's your fence tester. What you do is you hold it right next to the fence and press the button. Okay. You to, don't touch it to the fence, just hold this tip right next to the fence wire and then press the button. I'm gonna take my grab off mm -hmm. first. You gotta hold it right next to the fence and then press the button. You like hold it like right pointed right at it. Ready? Alright go. No way. That's way hotter. We went from 2,500 volts up to 8,000 volts. Can I do it all by myself? Yep, don't touch the fence, it'll shock you pretty good. Well that's way better, and I don't know what fixed it because I fixed three things at once. There were two spots where there were wires grounding out on metal posts, and then I changed the, that, got rid of that PVC insulator and anyway, we're way better and I'm happy with that. So hopefully that'll make our lives a little easier. That may sound like a ton of voltage, an, an unsafe amount of voltage, but it's not. Um, it's actually extremely safe the way that um, fences are wired. off here in Marshall. Marshall is one of the coolest little towns in Western North Carolina. I think it's one of the just neatest little towns and seems like one of the most alive little towns. There's a lot of dead towns. Marshall's by no means dead. There's like an acupuncturist here. There's a health food store. There's a coffee shop. There's a brewery. You can see a lot of the old buildings. This one was built in 1928 and over here this one in 1947. I've talked, I work with a lot of older folks in my business as a nurse and I've talked to a lot of people who are from this town and the farms around here. 
and something I've been told over and over by them is that this place used to just be bustling. That there were three grocery stores and on any given Saturday you could come to town and it would be packed. You couldn't find a parking spot anywhere. Anyway, I would love to have seen those days and the days when you could jump on a train in Marshall and ride to Asheville or ride to Hot Springs. And that was the fastest way to get there because the roads were comparably poor. Anyway, if you're in Western North Carolina, you gotta check this little town out. where I was buying another bale of hay probably not our last for the year but next to last or maybe second from last justice and I are up here above the house taking an evening walk just talking everything over and connecting with each other and I wanted to say thank you for watching our videos and thanks for following us we'll see you in another video soon Y'all have a great rest of your day, wherever you are.